Welcome back guys to another video here. I'm Captain Rock Savage and we are going to be talking about anti-aliasing with a little bit of DLSS and just kind of talking about a small tweak that we can make to, to really make our simulator look better, in my opinion at least, and uh, kind of just talk about some performance tweaks we could do to, to really honestly bring us a really good looking simulator. Let's get into it. All right, guys, well, welcome back. We are here in Chicago Midway International Airport. We are obviously seeing a ton of Southwest aircraft here, and we are going to be talking about the NVIDIA DLSS optimization that we could do within the simulator and kind of drop the TAA. Um, obviously, TAA brings really sharp imaging, especially within the cockpit. But it really gives us a lot of airport shimmer, probably, you know, in my opinion, some of the worst. Now, we'll go ahead and talk about, you know, what we're going to do to fix that. But honestly, in my opinion, this just looks so much better. Nowhere near as much shimmering that we are used to seeing. Obviously, you guys could see the airport looks amazing, especially when... Uh, you know, you have a static uh, camera view. It looks really, really good. And when you're going really slow with the aircraft, it, it just, it, it looks amazing. Um, something that TAA just doesn't really tend to do. And it's something that we've been battling from X-Plane, P3D, and, and really all the simulators before that, um, that we've been really, I feel like combat combating it. And I think a lot of us have just kind of accepted the fact, honestly, um, that we just, you know, we're going to deal with a lot of really bad jagged lines and, and a lot of flickering going on. But here is how we're going to fix that. Let's get into that part of it. All right, guys. So right here is where we're going to fix that jagged line. Uh, really just flickery simulator. All right. So we're gonna find the user config file in our local cache in the packages folder of Microsoft Flight Sim. Now I will leave the address to your local cache file down in the description below. Keep in mind, I do have the Microsoft Store version, so I do not have Steam. So if you guys did purchase this sim from Steam, I am so sorry, I don't know where that file will be, but I'm sure somebody out there in the internet has a link or a a address for you to follow to get to this user config file so we're going to go ahead and open this up i'm going to use notepad plus plus and it's going to bring us to the top of our page now mine is already preset to this because this is something that i've done already but what it's going to show you guys is 1.0 now this is obviously where we're going to be looking at is the secondary scaling so this is what it's going to look like when you open up your user config file. It's going to show secondary scaling set to 1.0. What we're going to do is click on it, get rid of that one and put a two, basically allowing us to give two times the resolution of the simulator. And that's essentially guys, what's going to make our screens look like it's still TAA. And I know a lot of you guys were probably sitting here thinking, well, rock, there's no way that DLSS is going to look good within the cockpit. Cause we all know when DLSS is enabled, it downs the resolution of our simulator from the screen side of things. And just the visuals of even just from GSX in general too. Um, so it, it downs the visuals there from the resolution standpoint. And that's where the second uh, secondary scaling is really going to help us out. So we're gonna go ahead and after putting 2.0, we're gonna go into file and we are going to hit save. Once we hit save, we can exit out of that and exit out of our files. And obviously guys, keep this in mind, you have to be out of the sim when you set this up, okay? Now, obviously it's not going to shut your sim down if you alter that while in the simulator, but it's not gonna do any changes. So you do have to be out of the simulator for that to work. So let's hop inside the cockpit and see if we see any differences. All right, so we're inside the cockpit and you can see right now we are with DLSS. Now, obviously you guys can see just from the visual standpoint that we have based, I mean, it looks like TAA. If I didn't tell you this was DLSS, I guarantee you, none of you guys would even know that this was DLSS. This is, you know, obviously something that I feel like needs to be touched on. We don't really see too much on it. Um, and with the pilot, you know, the, 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 the PFDs, you can really see that the, the you know, the, the wording is very clear. It's not very hard to read at all. Everything is very, you know, 
very pronounced even when we get to the autopilot panel you guys are probably wondering if we still see that lag or that ghosting appearance when switching some of the bugs i'm going to switch the altitude bug here and you guys could see no ghosting nothing it's it's honestly extraordinary um even looking straight out ahead of us we don't see any flickering with on the building the wall the reflections look amazing um that is just some things guys that this that this little hack so to speak um does and it, it's amazing I, I i think it's something that we truly you know need to get this out to people because i feel you know one of the most annoying things is seeing that shimmering off even just so much as the as this you know the stairways to a lot of the jetways do a lot of flickering and, and stuff like that because it is such a small object and those tend to do you know really bad with taa and that's where nvidia dlss comes into play and it gets rid of a lot of those flickerings now as you guys can see you know the simulator obviously looking beautiful as ever and hopefully 2024 you know makes it even look better but one thing that I want to go in here is show you guys my settings. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. We're just going to go to general options. We'll go inside general options. And in here, we're going to see all of our settings here. So we have it set to NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution. We have it set to performance. And obviously, we are running on a 4090. So our frame gen is automatically on as well. With AMD, slide it all the way up to 200. And we do have VSync on with 100% monitor refresh rate. Now, this is, you know, you're all preference when it comes to vsync guys i know a lot of you guys are different on that and some of you guys like it some of you guys don't like it so you know do with it what you will and test it you know by all means get into it look at it what you like out of it and and, and make the decision for yourself okay but this is the recommended settings I have for you guys with the setup, all right, is NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution and Performance. Now, of course, I'm going to show you guys the difference between TAA and NVIDIA DLSS. So all we're going to do is switch this back to TAA. I'm going to apply and save. I'm going to go back and let's take a look at what this does. So I'm going to go ahead and move... I'm going to go ahead and move the camera and you guys can already see a lot of the flickering out in the distance of these buildings. You can already see like kind of really honestly, in my opinion, um, you see a lot of that that flickering on the jetways. Um, when you look, let's just focus on I think that's Bravo three, Bravo five, somewhere in there. You could see the flickering already on a lot of the jetways here a lot of the smaller things you start to see flickering on as well if i zoom in obviously the flickering goes away right because obviously it's being rendered um a lot closer but if i zoom out right you start to see a lot of the flickering we see it on a lot of the jetways we see it on a lot of the light posts if you see where the mouse is you see some of that flickering and a lot of you are going to say this might be something small but I feel like, to at least in my opinion, this airport is relatively decent with its flickering. But there are a lot of airports out there that just have terrible flickering. And it's just a real annoyance, in my opinion, when just seeing people either stream it or really, um, just for those of you that don't stream and you're just you're kind of annoyed by that flickering. That's something that, you know, this, this will fix. And we switch it to NVIDIA DLSS. Go ahead and do that right now. Oop, we'll go this way. Keep it on that performance pay or on that performance setting and boom none of it's there if you do the comparison of the two the jetways look great you know the light posts look amazing and we go back into the cockpit our panels are still looking like taa and our performance is still at 165 frames on the ground now like i said earlier we are running a video uh we are running the lossless scaling right now as well as auto fps so keep that in mind guys we do have a lot of things running in the background for the performance side of things but the sim looks amazing and this is something guys that you can easily do by altering that config file keep in mind guys when you guys do this if you have a sim update or any uh, such update you know you may have to go back in and reach you know re reset that so keep that in mind that's something you may have to do down the line but for now this is my little gift to you guys to tell you a little bit about that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I really look forward to flying with most of you that already follow me. If you aren't following, 
hit that like button hit the subscribe button please leave your comments down below on what you think of this video and what you think it will do for your sim obviously guys you know it's not for everybody okay this isn't something you know some of you guys may see this video and say well i really don't need to take a look at this it, there's really no point to it by all means go ahead and skip the video but for those of you that enjoy the video yes please like subscribe pass it along to your friends as you know we are trying to build our channel um but that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks again so much for watching i hope to see you guys in the air in microsoft 2020 or hopefully in 2024 in a couple weeks thanks again stay safe and we'll see you guys on the next video bye bye for now